Welcome to Love is Crafting. Love is Crafting. I'm Stanton. And I'm Tila. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for checking us out. And all you returning subscribers, thank you for your support. Here on this channel, we like to show you how to do crafts and other DIY projects that are real, but not necessarily perfect because love, love isn't, isn't perfect. perfect. We have a goal this year to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, but we need your help to make it happen. Will you please consider hitting that subscribe button? We post videos every Saturday. And what we have for you today is sublimating on HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl. Last week, we sublimated on glitter HTV. If you missed the video, it will be linked right above and below in the description. So the glitter HCV came out perfectly, which made me think, why can't we do this with regular HCV? And I told him that's not gonna work. But her reasoning is because it's not gonna work. So I said, babe, let's at least try it. So here we are, we're gonna try it. And if you find the video helpful or entertaining, I'm not sure which one it's gonna be, <laughs> Make sure you hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Love is crafting. Love is crafting. Okay, so we are getting ready to uh, press our, or do our sublimation on HTV. We have our cuts already. This is just white standard HTV. This is um, the print on sublimation paper. Uh, this is already cut out, so what we have to do, we'll first um, place the HTV, get that on and just pretty much hit it just to, to get it to stick. We will add on the uh, sublimation and put it together and hopefully we will be able to have this sublimated uh, piece of artwork, beautiful piece of artwork by the way, um, on an all cotton shirt, 100% cotton shirt, which is also a dark color. Two no-nos when it comes to uh, sublimation, but we are gonna try to see if, see if we can make it work. It's not gonna work. Oh. Don't doubt me. Okay, so we have our shirt here. Uh, we're just doing it on the sleeve. First, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna press this for just a couple seconds uh, to get it, get us a flat, warm surface to work with. All right, we have our uh, heat press at 305 degrees Fahrenheit. And first things first, we you are- You wanna place that the other direction? Oh, this way. Yeah. Oh yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense. Thank you. All right. So place that there. We got our Teflon sheet. Place it there. And what we're, the attempt is, is just to get this to stick. So we're only gonna go a couple seconds. All right, let's go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. That sounds good. All right. So some of the edges are coming up, which is still okay with me because remember we're going to add additional heat to this. Maybe. Maybe you should press it a little bit longer. Yeah, I think so, I think so. Maybe a little bit longer. Another five Mississippi sound good? Yep, another five Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Since I say Mississippi after five, do you think that's six seconds? I don't know. I need the mathematicians to, uh, to sound your alarm on how that goes. I mean, we could time it, but that sounds like a lot of work for no reason. Okay. So now what we need to do is change our heat press to 400 degrees and then we are going to attempt to sublimate on it so so exciting we will wait for that to heat up okay so we have our htv set our heat press is set to 
400 degrees now. Yes. First thing I'm gonna do is take our sublimation and just try to line it up as best as possible, as best as possible. Is that a, is that a phrase? Sure. It is now. All right. Put on our heat tape. All right. And then I have two sheets of standard uh, copy paper. We don't need to actually put anything in between the sleeve because the ink won't go through the HCV. Yeah. And even if it did, it's on cotton and it's uh, dark, so it won't even show up. So let's put that there. And we are going to press it, moment of truth. We'll have the uh, actual machine do our Mississippis this time. But what I need from you all is to write now in the comments, before we get done, comment on whether or not you think this is gonna work. I don't know if you do it after the video. I, I won't know, but. We're going by the honor system. Honor system. Who agrees with Tila and who agrees with Stanton? <laughs> so all you have to do is go ahead and be like team Tila or team Stanton in the comments. Right. Instead of the whole 60 seconds, I think we're gonna stop this at about 45, so. 60 minus 45 is 15. Ooh, that looks hot. A lot hot. of smoke. That looks very, very hot. I'm gonna Ooh. let this cool down some. Stop the annoying beeping. Tape came off first. Usually everything comes off together. Dun, 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 dun. Is dun, it because? Dun, dun. Oh. So there you have it. It hmm. is there, but it is not there. It doesn't look good. That's that's a good consensus. And if you see the um, actual uh, sublimation paper. It took pretty much all the ink. It just did not show up vibrant. Show up vibrant. Hmm. So there is our answer. So. So Tila was right. Say it again for the people in the back. I am officially team Tila on the sublimation portion. <laughs> Here's a closer look of the final product. As you can tell, the ink did go ahead and transfer onto the regular white HTV. However, the colors aren't as vibrant as you want a sublimation print to go ahead and be. But if you're looking for the faded vintage kind of look, this will work. But overall, not for us. We won't be doing this again. Thanks for watching and remember, love is crafting.